Controlled airplane. The plane is called the Reaper, and it's basically the predator drone on steroids. Creech Air Force Base in Indian Springs manages this unmanned operation. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Edward Lawrence gives us an exclusive in depth look at the Reaper. It's the most advanced killing machine the Air Force has, and there's no room on this plane for a pilot. You're looking at the first time the Air Force allowed our cameras to see the Reaper in action. The pilot flies the plane from a control room at Creech Air Force Base outside Las Vegas. The actual nuts and bolts of flying the airplane is obviously very different. Uh, there's no pulling 9Gs, there's no going supersonic. The military asked us to use only rank and first name to protect the pilot. Major Brian works here but can fly missions with one of these all over the world. The Reaper is the second generation drone. The Predator came first. Used mainly for surveillance, the Air Force realized the Predator could also be a useful weapon. So the military built the Reaper from the ground up as a hunter. One major difference between the Predator drone and the Reaper can be found under the wing. The Reaper can carry four missiles and two bombs. It packs quite a punch. In extremely dangerous territory, Major Brian says that will be an enormous asset. If I can call up six uh, of my bros and say, hey guys, we got it for you tonight, you all stay home safe and we'll take it out with, uh, with an unmanned platform. That's a tremendous opportunity for the Air Force and for air power in general. For this trip, Major Brian flew his Reaper to a green flag exercise at Fort Irwin in California. It will join other Air Force planes and Army ground troops to practice working together. And it also gives everyone else an opportunity to see what the airplane can do. It's very new capability. Uh, not many people, most people are keen it, so it's just a big predator. Well, it's not. This one will not only track its prey with radar, infrared, and specialized cameras. They can see our video. But also destroy the enemy while keeping the pilot out of harm's way. Edward Lawrence, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Hmm. The Reaper is being used sparingly in the war on terror so far. Pilots at Creech Air Force Base are still testing the plane's limits and coming up with new uses for this remote aircraft. Each Reaper costs about $54 million to make. That's twice as expensive as the Predator drone. Oh, they're trying to get away. Not anymore. We believe 9-11 is lie. This is an 04. Every sort of service believe 9-11 is a lie. We thought the people would expose the lie, know the war is a lie, and bring us home. I got friends that are there in Baghdad in 07 on their third tour, three years in Iraq. And we're talking about it still when people are dying. We go down to Najaf, on the way out, because we get extended. You did a year, you can't go home yet, you gotta go to Najaf. And we shoot hundreds of artillery rounds into downtown Najaf. Areas that we couldn't shoot at before because they were religious places. But just like 9-11, the more soldiers they killed, the more we could do. It's all escalation. They've been escalating this war since 1990. And now they're finally, now with this troop surge, they're gonna put soldiers on every street like they're cops. Because we've escalated, we've let them do it. We've let them do it because we stood by and we've talked about it. They've given me a 10 minute head start to drive anywhere I want in the Mojave Desert. Now, all they've gotta do 
just find me. Remember that as a potential target, I could be anything from the driver of a stolen vehicle on the highway to a band of terrorists armed to the teeth, hellbent on causing havoc. What's incredible is that these pictures are coming from a distance of almost five miles away.